Hi everybody, thanks for watching this. I wanted to tell you this is a little time sensitive. Greetings dear ones, I am Cryon of Magnetic Service. Again we sit outside and this day is beautiful and the sun is here for us to enjoy. You can hear Gaia, you can hear the birds, you can hear the life. It is the eighth channel. And eight in numerological terms, in the simplest form, means abundance. There is abundance here. All around you, you might say. The abundance of wisdom, of teaching. I want again to make some comparisons today to both Gaia, that is the planet, the earth, and humanity. And if you took a look at the message today, you would say it would be the message I gave 26 years ago. The message is always the same with different words. But the message is now more acute, that is to say it's sharper because of the shift of humanity that is occurring. And part of the shift of humanity is that which is allied with nature, that which is allied with the planet. It is no mistake that we sit today in that place you call Ireland, where it's all about the planet and the multidimensional things that you feel here as you sit here. It's different than other places, and this is the time to teach an alliance, a harmony that you may really not be aware of. You may not even be aware of what the planet does. Humans are so removed quite often from the bigger picture of who Gaia is, and the alliance is more than just feeling good. Perhaps it's even for life itself. Let's look at the planet in three different areas, and then briefly I'll ask you to do the same. Gaia is self-balancing, and it's so interesting if you look at it from afar. If you could stand back and see the little round marble, which is the Earth, and realize that it has only one outside source, and that is the sun. Everything else must occur within itself. It is self-balancing. All of the systems that it has, the multiples of complexities, must continue, and they do. It must be balanced. And you might say, well, that's fine and that's nice, but it's more than fine and nice. It's not that easy. The earth must go through cycles of renewal in order for it to remain balanced. And when I say renewal, I mean life itself. I speak to those who perhaps have had what you will call a fish tank. And you put your fish in there and you marvel at them and you enjoy them. And perhaps year after year, you treat the water accordingly. You put the chemistry in, the pH, the oxygen, all of the things you do correctly, year after year. And yet, there has to be some time when you change the water. You know what I'm talking about. The Earth cannot do that. How does it work? If you've ever wondered how the planet sustains self-balance, you're looking at it right now. It is the theme of cryon. It's part of the shift. What you call weather change, what some have literally called the warming cycle. It is a cycle. It's a cycle of warm and cold. It's happened before. Now, humans haven't been around long enough to record this cycle accurately and know that it's natural. And so humans are very excited 
They see things starting to shift. They believe they've caused it themselves. They have not. This has happened over and over and over. Listen, dear ones. The earth does some startling things you may not even be aware of in order to balance itself. It will create life and death on the planet, and renewal is the result. With warm and cold, sometimes it will kill its own fish and wipe out its own reefs in order to start again. And in the restart, the nutrients are there fresh. It's not an old system that tries to build on itself. Sometimes it has to be wiped out in order to start anew. This is the cold and the warm cycle of the planet. It's not something that humans are responsible for. If you weren't here, it would have happened anyway. Now, we're careful here, and we say it to everyone. The pollutants you put in the air and the water are killing you, not the planet. The planet is very self-sufficient. Give it enough time, it'll clean it all up. Don't do it. It's going to kill you. The planet is resilient and will self-balance. This is what it does. In the self-balancing of this globe, this beauty, it then creates a static energy. And we're going to talk about that in a minute, which would be number three. A self-balancing earth is one that is at peace with itself. Number two. Earth is self-repairing, and it does things you might not expect. It does them so elegantly that necess not necessarily would you, would you realize that, that it's even doing it. Let me give you an example, something that very few humans even think about. Long before humanity, there were tremendous oil spills in the ocean. And you might look at this and say, well, was that from space creatures that came down? <laughs> no, it bubbled up from the bottom of the sea, where today you find and drill for oil. It bubbled up all by itself, millions of what you call barrels, all over the ocean. It was a common occurrence. Think about it. Ask a geologist whether it's possible to have natural oil spills, and they will say, of course. Now, what happened was bioremediation. The planet knows how to clean up its own oil spills. And as proof of this, when humans accidentally do it, the ecology returns faster than anyone will project. That's just one example. It repairs itself. When a forest becomes too dense, and it often will, because growth is that way. If the trees are too close together, when disease is carried by insects, when the roots start to rot because they cannot get room, the answer is electricity. Lightning then will cause the fires and will wipe out the forest. And it will grow again. And from the burned trees comes life that only fire can bring. It repairs itself. This is all part of a harmony of balance that knows itself so well that it can do it within its own system. It has no outside source except the sun. Number three. How do we describe it? Earth with an attitude. Does Gaia have an attitude or life? Does it have a personality? And we have told you that it does. Almost like a living, breathing thing, multidimensionally, this planet is alive. It has an attitude of benevolence and peace. You sit in a beautiful field of grass. The sun is coming and going as the clouds move by. The birds are enjoying it, and you listen to them. It's peaceful. This is Gaia's natural state. 
The storms, they come and go, but the natural state of Gaia is harmony, balance, and peace. Now listen to this carefully. The master teacher is Gaia. What does it want to say to you at this moment? Listen carefully. Gaia does not argue with itself. Gaia is not in conflict with itself. It is not in conflict with its own systems. It doesn't face off in a hierarchy and decide what part of it is in charge of another part. It is always balancing itself, and the balance always is benevolence and peace. What does the master teacher have to say to you today about number three? If you are going to emulate and survive on this planet, you're going to have to listen to the teacher. Let's look at the human being. You are self-balancing. You're built to be self-balancing. All through your life, you're built this way. So that your consciousness will understand when there is drama or confliction or worry or fear and be able to then get together and self-balance itself through the knowledge of the one source you have and it's not the sun. You are connected to the creative source. That is the one thing that is outside of yourself that you can emulate and look at. Like the earth uses the sun, you use the great central sun. That is to say, the creative source in you creates self-balance, if you'll allow it. Now that's the design of the human. That's not necessarily how you act. Or is it? It's the invitation from the great teacher who was looking at you and saying, look, you are completely and totally alone in the system. Your system from head to foot is enclosed and it can be self-balancing. Number two, can it repair itself? It is designed to repair itself. It is designed to rejuvenate just like the planet. There are so many systems of your body that repair itself, and yet you go to outside sources. Let me tell you where the best source of self-balance and repair is. It is in the botanicals of this planet, period. This planet can give you use. It can give you health. It can extend your life. There will be, if there is not already, there is some of it, but not already is there a plethora of information about what works and does not work for the human body for sustenance. What you do is manufacture your food for taste instead of for health. Did you know that some of you have an Akash that craves different kinds of foods from different parts of the planet, and yet you continue to eat only what your culture gives you? Did you know that you could extend your life, maybe even double it, if you would start analyzing what is it from Gaia that you could eat that your cellular structure would just not only enjoy and love, but nourish itself and youth and youth. In other words, you can slow down your aging. Is it possible that what you eat actually creates aging? Yes. It's more than just toxins, dear ones. It's about the harmony of your chemistry with the partnership of Gaia. The ancients, the natives, would often go into very dense forests and find obscure things growing and study them and put them together with other obscure things in order to extend life, to heal wounds, to repair. And today, you do it artificially. And yet it's always been there in the ground, always in the soil, ready not only for you to use medicinally, but also ingest 
and use it for nourishment. This is going to be a new science. It doesn't even have a real name yet. This is the invitation. That was number two. Number, number three. <laughs> what is your attitude? The great teacher says that if you're not peaceful, you'll be at war. War with yourself. All of the cellular structure in the human body is craving peace. Just like the planet self-balances and repairs and has an attitude of benevolence and peace. I want you to feel the sun as it comes and goes. I want you to listen to the grass grow. Perhaps to the birds, perhaps the children playing in this peaceful area. And understand, the great teacher Gaia is saying to you, what is it about you? that you want to create fear in your life over the things around you, or perhaps drama over the things around you. There is an appropriate time. Life is life, but where is your center point? Is it peaceful? The great teacher is that which you can look at right now and enjoy all day long. Again, we say that the trees do not get up and move around and argue with one another. The trees are benevolent with where they sit and they work with each other. Everything works with everything else. And it's not a design. It is a system. And that's different. What is your system of life? When you look at others, can you see the creative source in them? An animal looks at nature and sees itself. A tree sees itself. And everything around it is part of itself. One system of benevolence the planet does not fear. And you would say, well, what should it fear? What, what could it fear? I'll tell you dear ones, that there's a lot of things out there in space. <laughs> it does not fear. It is self-balancing. It is peaceful within itself because that is the state of eternalness. You're going to live a long time. Every cell of your body wants peace. This is the life extension secret that no chemical can ever bring you. How are you with you? Listen to the master teacher. Walk around today and see how is the planet with itself? If it could yell at you, it would. And it would yell, be still and know that you're God. That the outside source, the one outside source, like the sun is for the earth, is the great central sun, the source of creation. And that source teaches you peace, benevolence, and compassion, self-balance, and you'll stop aging. Every cell of your body, chemically, yells. It wants peace. Do you argue with yourself? Don't answer that. <laughs> and if you do, you're not connected with the teacher. That's enough for now. Enjoy this day as you walk among that which wants to teach you. And so it is. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching this. I wanted to tell you this is a little time sensitive.